Have you ever made a really impressive scratch project that uses a ton of sprites? Well today, I'm going to show you how to reduce the number of sprites and clean up your projects. To start off, you're going to want to make a variable called clone ID, and don't forget to set it for the sprite only. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a when flag clicked, repeat, we'll just say something like 4, add a set clone ID to 0 before that, repeat 4, change clone ID by 1, and create clone of myself. When I start as clone, if clone ID equals 1, then we can switch the costume to costume 1, go to and say hello. And then we can add something else. If clone ID equals 2, then we can go here. And we can keep repeating this over and over again. Also, I'm going to add, you don't have to add this, but I'm going to add a hide. And then when I start as clone show. And you can do a lot with this. You can add a forever if touching mouse pointer and mouse down. We can make it ask something. We can make it do anything. It's essentially having up to 301 sprites in one. Now this might lag out your project just a tiny bit because of how many clones you have, but that should be fine. And you can do a lot with this. People have made projects in just one sprite using clone ID. This is all done in just one sprite, which is really impressive. As you can see, just one sprite, 973 blocks, not even any code in the backdrop. So you can do a lot with this. Now a way I would use this is if you're making menus, just so you don't have to have a different sprite for every button, because typically menus have a lot of things. So if you use this for a menu, then it will clean up your project a lot and make it a lot easier for you to code as well. Alright, thank you for watching, I will see you later, bye.